In chess, at the beginning of the game, each side has the same amount of pieces. So, how do we beat our opponents? Well, they could blunder, they could leave pieces hanging. But what if they do not do that? The secret is in one word. Activity. Yes, your pieces need to be stronger, more active than those of your opponents. And in this video, I'm showing you how to do it. And we are getting started. I love to play the move d4. e4, e5. Okay, I want to try one of the most amazing opening in chess, the King's Gambit. This idea is to trade a side pawn for the pawn in the center of the board. Also, white wants to give away that pawn in order to go very quickly with the pieces out. Knight here, bishop here, attacking this pawn. And this is what I'm going. Bishop out, attacking, hitting at the most vulnerable point in black's field, the point on f7, because this pawn is just protected by the king. Now, knights out, I want to go also with the knight. And if my opponent plays simple moves like this ones, I can simply go with two pawns in the center, be amazing strong, and now I can just stay back here with my bishop. Uh, one thing I need to be careful is that every time you play uh, the move, you push the pawn on f4, you are also weakening this diagonal. So after pawn takes, I need to go for a quick calculation. Bishop takes, bishop takes here. Uh, if I take with the queen, I lose this pawn, so I might want to play pawn takes. And then there is a check here, giving a check, and my bishop is also under attack, but I have still bishop here attacking the queen, I should be safe. But you know what? I don't care about taking this pawn, I have to play in the spirit of the king's gambit, and so I castle. I'm bringing the rook on the open, or semi-open, like going to be open f file now i take with the rook i'm ready to take here this pawn is shaking is like really scared my opponent has still all the pieces on the king side at home i already castled so that's really good for me i think knight of six bishop e7 or queen d7 and long castle all these moves are necessary queen f6 my opponent is going for some attacks here no attacking this pawn is this really good I don't think so. I mean, I could think about taking here with the bishop or taking here with the rook. After queen takes, take. But you know what? I will play c3. I'm still not taking back that pawn. I don't care. I don't mind. And the move c3 is opening up another diagonal for the queen. The queen could sneak on b3, attacking this pawn and this pawn at the same time. Now, my opponent protected the pawn. So you know what? I'll go with the move g3. This is again a typical move. A played to yeah to just take here and the point is that after pawn takes pawn takes pawn takes is true my king is weak but my king can hide here behind wow my opponent protected this way i think it's now time to go for the queen out here we are attacking this pawn uh, the king can still not castle and this pawn cannot take there is lots of pressure and the only thing i need to do is to be quick and develop also my pieces Okay, now my opponent blundered really much. This b6 is a huge mistake. I can simply go either with the queen or with the bishop. I'm not sure. I think the queen might be. Usually I like to do it with the bishop, but this time I have the feeling with the queen might be even better. There is knight here protecting, so maybe I need to go with both anyway. Okay, my opponent might castle in the meantime, but I don't mind. If I win a piece, I can have a small problem with development. Problem uh, means that I didn't take care of these pieces yet. Winning a piece is a good reason to, um, like, <laughs> not develop your pieces for a while, but then you need to speed up, because if not, you might be in trouble. Now, we won a piece, and we are happy. There we go. Oh, I like the King's Gambit. I think it's... It's a very spicy opening. Now, ooh, okay. My opponent is playing good moves, I must say. So now they are attacking my rook. And if I move, they might push forward. Okay, so what are my options? Well, move the rook away or take here, sacrifice the exchange. But you know what? I'll just move my rook away. Yeah, my rook, moving my rook is fine. Because even if my opponent pushes, they offer me an amazing way. Okay. Now they move the rook away so I can take here, I win a pawn, I'm offering the trade of pieces and I'm very happy trading because I have an extra piece and I'm relieving the pressure. The position is way simpler. When you have fewer pieces on the board, it's simpler not to blunder and not to miss things. So that's really good. Now the queen is attacking this pawn, the pawn is protected and what you do? Well, I could take this pawn with check, so I take it. 
and then i'm going to develop bring out knight uh trade yeah if you can trade trade that's good that's a very good rule and then bring out the other rook look get the spawn okay my opponent is uh, attacking absolutely nothing but attention they could sacrifice the rook here the rook okay should i let them do that um i think not i think i don't have to let them i mean it would be great for content so maybe i should let them sacrifice the rook okay so let's make them sacrifice the rook but we need to find a way to defend so to avoid the checks afterwards so i think rook here could be a good way or maybe even better pushing here in the center okay let's do this so i'm letting the opponent sacrificing the rook they don't want i mean i did all this to let you sacrifice the rook and you didn't damn okay i will go either with the knight here or with the knight here but i'm allowing this check you know what i go with the queen back i'm protecting this knight and i'm ready after this check to respond with queen f2 so i brought all my pieces back together and my king is very safe now we'll go with the queen here attacking this pawn and always uh, attention for the rook could be a sacrifice you know imagine my queen being here my queen being away rook takes pawn takes queen takes and then it's check 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 not good not good so here we trade the queens and the game is over because with an extra piece you should be able to win this game safely let's see how to do it oh one thing you need to avoid is uh, let's attack this pawn is this rook to get too active on the second rank? My opponent did great. Now the knight is controlling the square, so the rook cannot get on the second rank because my knight is controlling, but this is a great idea. No, I play uh, knight here. I want to avoid the rook getting there. And now I go here, so I avoid the rook getting there. I'm really trying to avoid as much as I can. I'm pushing the pawn that was under attack and my opponent got there, but now I put the knight back. I'm protecting this pawn and this rook is a bit feeling uncomfortable. Instead, my rook is being the bowling ball and the pawns are falling one after each other. This rook was feeling a bit uncomfortable. Okay, I'll push this pawn. This is the pawn I want to promote, so there we go. I'll push also this. Now they are protecting each other. They are like good friends, uh, being nice with each other, protecting each other. My next move will be uh, rook here. I want to take this pawn. And then you can do something... Okay, I can simply take... Now this pawn is just rolling red carpet in front of the pawn. Not many moves remaining. And there we go. We are promoting officially. We are officially promoting. Uh, my opponent is giving the final check. Well, uh, they are probably giving away all their pieces. Be careful. Don't get stealth mate. Nope. Now, can we do a very quick checkmate? If I can, I will try to checkmate with the pawn. Can you see a checkmate with the pawn? Can you find it? I would love to checkmate with the pawn. Maybe my opponent will simply resign. No checkmate with the pawn. But can you? Can you? Can you find checkmate? An idea of checkmate with the pawn. Doesn't look so easy. Okay, maybe queen here. Cover all these squares. Uh, King here. No, it's not possible. Anyway, my opponent is disconnected. They just left. They said... No, I don't want to play this game anymore. Anyway, guys, all the points that I'm taking to my opponents will be refunded. I also, my opponent got a nice rating of 11.69, so they have to be happy about this. Next game. I'm playing Cesar Chef from France. La France. Bonjour, 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 madame, mademoiselle. What is this move? Huh? Queen F3. They are still playing with tricks. Honestly, this move is just to try to give the scholar's mate and i just go with the knight here and now the scholar's mate uh, orbs are gone forever i go out with my pieces develop simple chess my opponent would like to play maybe this move i go out also with my bishop and uh now i played a move h6 you know why i don't want this bishop getting on g5 no i, I don't want it i go back with the bishop attention not to be trapped now i can simply castle and that's quite good for me Wow, my opponent is pushing just their pawns. I mean, all the pieces are slipping and the pawns have been pushed. This could be a very dangerous uh, plan, honestly, because it's, it's actually scary. Imagine this pawn getting here, pawn takes, the bishop gets here, and it could become a bit annoying, even if my opponent doesn't have really many pieces to attack. How to react? Usually the best way to react to this is to attack in the center. And I see a very nice move that could be played right now, and it's the move d5. You might say, Alessia, you're blundering a pawn, but you might see what comes next. After pawn takes, I'm going all in. I'm just pushing this pawn forward, opening up the center. If pawn takes, I go with the knight here, attacking the queen, attacking this, 
And uh, my opponent is crying and is learning a huge lesson today. Why you need to develop and castle. Now, the bishop and the queen are both under attack. The only move to defend is queen here. My opponent didn't play. So now they lost a knight. Anyway, after queen e2, um, the queen could have taken back. But then I would have taken here. And after queen takes, rook goes here and I win the queen. So this would have been the amazing tactic to exploit the bad development, the bad opening moves of my opponent. Lots of energy, those moves, but very strong. Now, I'm simply taking gear, attacking the queen, attacking this pawn, attacking this other pawn. This is, oh my god, we are just at move 12, really. And this shows how fast it can go if your opponent plays bad moves in the opening. Okay, what do we do here? So, we could take here with the knight, we could give a check, we could take here with the queen. Oh my god, there are so many good moves. I could also take here, attacking the queen one more time. Maybe the simple is the best. We kind of want the pawn to take here. It's coming a bit too close to my king. I simply take... Oh, no, my knight! No way! I lost my knight. Does that work? Of course, the idea is to go with the rook here. I'm just... Um, I'm just... I'm just being Gary Croson for one minute or even less. Now, I win the queen. The queen is lost. And all my pieces are still very strong. Ready to go out. I nearly throw the water out uh, of the table, but it's fine. Winning the queen is good. Okay, my opponent is counterattacking the queen. I take... Oh, look at this. If I take here, the rook is gone. So I have to take here with check. And then I will also take this one. Mm, new me. And now I ha might have a checkmate very soon. Okay, my opponent is trying to hold. I like to find the fastest checkmate. Uh, do you see one? I don't. I don't see one. Okay, maybe check here looks good. Then the king goes here, then check here. <gasps> oh my god! I see a very nice one. I think this is the fastest way to finish the game. I see a beautiful one. So if king goes here, this. If the king goes here, it's checkmate with the knight. Knight here. <laughs> that would be nice. But I think my opponent will go here or there. Which means checkmate also in a few moves. If queen goes here. Ooh! Nice! Well, that was not checkmate, but it's checkmate now. <laughs> Chess master here. Hello, everybody. What a huge fail. Okay, I'm also called Pepega is my second name. If you don't know what is a Pepega, Google it. Pepega emoticon. And you'll see what it means. So E45, let's go again with the king's gambit. He he he. Let's see. Okay, accepted. And I go with the bishop here, looking at f7. The most juicy pawns right now. Let's see what my opponent plays. Okay. Going out with the queen so quickly, this is not a good idea. I think here I could go with a quick castle, and then again, the idea of e5 could be very powerful. Trying to win the queen. Okay, now they are attacking this pawn and this pawn. Oh no, I might lose a pawn, but here the best way is again, the same trick, guys. We castle this pawn. Oh no, my pawn! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, they saw it. <laughs> they saw it. They are good. Anyway, we go with two pawns in... Oh wait, actually now this pawn could be taken. My pawn again. Damn! My pawn is really hanging now. <laughs> now, we can take here with check. And after king takes, we have a nice fork. And this is why that pawn was not hanging. Now, the only move for my opponent to keep playing is to go with the king on d8. And they didn't do it. So I go with a nice fork. And in eight moves, we won again the queen. And this is a very good tactic worth knowing. Bishop take f7 could be a very good sacrifice if you then go with the knight. Mm, doing a double attack. Or sometimes here there is a piece hanging and so you can take with the queen. And you didn't win so much material, but you made your opponent lose the possibility to castle. Now we won the queen, and so we are very happy. Now the pawn is attacking. Uh, we'll go back here with the knight, a bit spicy. For example, if the move h6 happens, we might even go with the queen giving a check here, and could be quite dangerous. If not, we can just go with the knight back on f3, which is a very good square. We can take this pawn, develop the knight, bring everything to the party. Now, taking gear is great. 
because we want to open the file we can bring the queen giving a check and my opponent is moving twice the same piece usually in the opening just move each minor piece minor piece are the knights and the bishops move them once and be quick castle also move them towards the center not towards the side what are they doing on the side they are controlling those two squares no that's not good now again i want to try to find the quickest checkmate without failing hopefully i'll bring the knight first out and I will bring the queen out. And then should be quick. Should be quick. I need to give this check here. Honestly, maybe this knight was not even needed. Because I have so many good pieces. That I didn't even need this knight. But now I'm I'm going to take this pawn next. Okay, let's give a check. Let's see if I can do it without the knight. Now, if bishop here, I'm taking there. Which is very good. So my knight is having a purpose. Okay. You know that without this bishop, I would have had check here, king here, and checkmate. This would have been good if I would have done the move before. Damn. Okay, check here looks also great. Now the king, if the king goes here, is checkmate. Now I take here, and this is checkmate in few moves. I want to give mate with the knight. They might simply resign here. Okay, I'm taking here. I can't give mate with the knight. Yeah, they resign. Fine. Great. GG's. Here we go. Ooh, we might play another King's Gambit. Will my opponent play e5? Wow, they play the Scandinavian. I'm taking gear. This opening is suspicious because the queen goes out so early. And every time, this is against the opening principle, every time the queen is out, you can attack it with minor pieces, with pieces that have less value. So you force the queen to move another time. Now this is a check, so I have to move, but I can simply develop. Look at this. I have developed already two minor pieces, and my opponent has done absolutely nothing. They are going with the third time around with the queen. Now, yes, they are attacking this pawn, but I mean, they are really playing with fire here. Okay, I would play bishop here. I'm attacking this pawn, protecting this one, and I'm ready to go out with the knight too. That's fine. Also, I will simply develop, you know, uh, pawn here, this... Uh, queen out, castle or long castle, knight here, that's great. Also, the knight could go here and win another tempo with the queen, so that's good. I mean, I'm thinking about what about this move for my opponent, because the knight is quite annoying, threatening to take there. Okay, so I play the move d4 so that uh, this is no longer an option. Also, my pawn is very strong, letting my bishop go out. That's quite nice. Bishop g5, B sorry, g4, going for the trade. Now, I don't take here for sure. You don't want to be the first one to trade. Usually let your opponent trade. For example, if I move this knight and then, okay, my opponent cannot trade because the queen is under attack, but whatever. If they trade, I bring out my queen. So it's, it's good for me to let my opponent make the trade. Okay, what about this move? Where is the queen going? The queen has those three squares. I think this one is the best one. Uh, but I'm moving this for a second time in night. Hmm, I'm wondering what is happening with that pawn then. This is more complicated than what I thought. Okay, candidates. When there is a complex position, always have two or three options. What could we play here? We could play this. We could play the move d5. What else? We could take. What else could be a move? What else? So the bishop wants to take. This is the threat. Uh, actually, the first question, when you have a complicated position, the first thing you need to ask yourself is, what is my opponent idea? So my opponent wants to take there and make me take with this pawn. I have double pawns. Is this a big deal? Well, it's quite annoying because my pawn structure is weak. The queen could sneak here, attacking this rook, attacking this pawn. So I would like to try to avoid it. But there is a problem. If I simply move this knight, for example, here, after bishop takes, queen takes, this pawn is hanging. And I was thinking like, okay, I can take here, the rook is under attack, but there is also queen, uh, knight takes with check. I need to move my king, the rook could move, this rook is still under attack. This position looks complicated, so again, I don't want to do that. So what could I play? I could play, oh, I could take here with check. This could be an option. I could play this move attacking the queen. The queen moves here. Oh, this is the solution. Just knight here. I'm winning a tempo, attacking the queen. Once the queen moves, I can simply develop. I solved all my problems. All my pieces are fully developed. Bishop here, protecting the pawn. Very smart. And after bishop takes, I simply take back. Yep. And this is under attack. Okay. Good, 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 good. Now bishop here, protecting. And now there is actually a way I lose a pawn. So after bishop here, oh wow, my opponent wins for the attack. Okay, fine. They're attacking this pawn. They could have taken, taken, and then taken here. But again, they are lacking development. So this is not good for them. Now we need just to find a way. This kind of position where you did everything right. You developed all your pieces. And your opponent is wasting time with their queen. And yeah, is moving again the piece. This king is still at the middle of the board. So you have to try to be 
very energetic and not don't be scared don't play just defensive moves and go for energy because you can win games really quickly so one very good move would be a rook c1 just defensive move but i don't like it because after bishop takes i have to take with the pawn if not then my opponent is taking their next if i move my queen away so what else could be an idea i could simply castle yeah and say like yeah i'm taking the pawn i'm taking the pawn i go with the rook here and then maybe i move my knight here or my knight to the center of the board and i'm attacking this pawn yeah i think i will go simply simple chest simple chest i castle yeah you can join take the pawn do whatever you want i'm moving my rook and now after this knight moves i have a nice check here okay now i'm taking simply back and i'm opening the f file this queen is on a weak spot and now there are so many things incoming imagine this check here pawn pushes and then i sacrifice the bishop okay we are going to show you this Chacolino, Chacolino, and the bishop after pawn takes the queen is taking and check and the rook is gone so we are good this is what i mean energy try to create threats against the king or to trap the queen all the things are usually what you need to do all right good move by my opponent not losing the rook but now i take the knight needs to go back here and now again energy knight in the center makes your opponent surrender uh going for this winning the rook the king is nearly checkmated not gonna lie and now we have a beautiful tactic can you spot it let's say white moves again you can win a good piece can you see that okay this is a good move because it gives the square to the to the king okay let's give this check this we win at least the rook if my opponent goes here, we can still win the queen. But if my opponent goes here, we cannot win the queen anymore. Do you see the tactic? It's not too hard. Now we can do it. Boom! And the queen and the king are both under attack. We gave away a knight, but we are winning the queen. And we're very happy. We can pre-move this move. Because my opponent needs to move the king. Or they might simply resign. That's also an option. Now the rook is sliding on f7. Giving one of the finals check. We go for it, and this is free move checkmate. I believe it. Yay! Hope you enjoyed this video and the beauty of chess with energy. Make the best out of your pieces. If you want, you can check out the big mistakes that chess players still make and how you can exploit them. It's very informative, very educative, same style of this one. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and see you next time.